Hi Taurus, this is your reading for uh, the 11th to the 17th of May. I'm Shah and uh, I'm welcoming you and glad to see you and glad to see you back if you're a cyber angel. I do appreciate your faithful support and your loyal support. And if you're new, welcome back. Oh, welcome to the channel. And I hope you will enjoy the readings. Remember, they're general readings, so if it doesn't resonate with you, then go to your moon sign and your rising sign. I'm using the Vice Versa deck and the Wildwood Tarot deck and the Animal Spirit Animal Oracle deck and the Surrender deck. If you would like to ha uh, have a personal reading, then you can find information in the description box or in the dot in the right hand corner just there. That will take you to my website and there you can not only find out the different readings that are on offer but also see the reviews, interviews, the series on the Dutch Witch and lots more. Okay, so let's get started. And if you're new, please subscribe and hit the bell uh, and hit on all, then you'll be notified when I go live. That's most usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday night. The first card that you have is the Seven of Pentacles. What you sow, you shall reap. He's still waiting. There he's still waiting, but he doesn't know what's going on behind his back. He's in deep thought here, but you had the card like this. So he's still waiting and he's looking at how the fruit is growing. It's nearly ripe to be plucked. Wow. He's very concentrated on... Uh, let's have a look. It looks like... And he looks very sad and sombre. From when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? Uh, time is man-made, my darlings. But it will happen because it's nearly, it's bad fruit, but it's nearly ripe to pluck. And I would say the moment could be on Monday or this coming week, as we have the fool. The fool. Look at the fool. He's um, going to ride that rainbow. He feels like jumping from the edge into the unknown. It is safe to do so. He is just inexperienced and he will have to learn. He'll have to learn to be patient, for instance, so that when things come to fruition, then it's time to harvest. You've got two sevens lying next to each other, so that's 77. That's a double number. And that's the seven of ones. You might feel you have to defend yourself on Wednesday. Um, but you can stand your ground. Look at him. He's standing with strongly with both feet. And he's holding up the stick. He's not throwing, uh, doing this with his... He's not uh, swaying or slaying with the stick. He's standing quietly, strongly and silently. He's not scared of nobody. He stands above it. And this is good if you find that people are bossing you about or putting you down or gossiping about you, then don't worry. You're stronger than you think. And you've got luck on your side. Not only because it's a number seven card, but you've got two number sevens. Wow, the angels and the divine is with you. And like I said, Time is man-made, but the time seems to be here, because you're strong enough to take that leap of faith. You have the Eight of Swords, but you don't know how or where to go to. Like I said, he's ready to jump, and he's willing to jump. He's, he looks like a young person, um, but he's inexperienced. So perhaps you need advice from somebody. The Eight of Swords also means that you've closed your mind off, you've closed your uh, um, your sight off your heart. So open your, your heart to this beautiful new beginning and your solar plex. Let the emotions run, okay? Don't let them run away with you, but let them open up and re be able to receive the fruit that is nearly ripe. And you'll 
get there. Look, I said to you, I didn't even see this card, but you've got the Knight of Wands. So this could be news about a job or a hobby. And he's nearly coming to his own, into his own. You might be moving home, or you might be moving from one business to another business. You might be meeting a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo, and they might be able to give you advice. But when you when this night comes in, you must act swiftly before it passes you by this opportunity. Okay, it's good news because your fruit is most probably coming to fruition, to, uh, ready to harvest either on Monday or on Friday because you are going to get news and it seems that you'll be back in balance because you've got the Two of Swords. Open your heart, like I said, open your heart with the Eight of Swords. You've got Eight of Arrows, the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords. You are not willing to see, I think, where you're going to go or what you can do. But you will on Friday because you'll be receiving news. Perhaps you've applied for a job and you've got the job. Perhaps you've applied to go to school for a new study. Awesome. Just in, and this is ju looks like a justice card, but you will be brought uh, clarity. The, for me, that is Libra. Okay, so the two of swords could represent Libra, I suppose, but don't exclude any other air sign. But this will the scales means that you're back in balance, and Libra uh, is an air sign, and the air signs stand for clarity, honesty, justice, wisdom, communication. So perhaps you might be studying law. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Some of you might go and work in the municipalities or an institution to do with law. Sorry, just take a sip of water. And once you talk so much, you get a dr dry mouth. So open your eyes eyes, throw away those swords, open your eyes by taking off the blindfold, open your heart like I've already said in, in the previous card. Don't be blind. You know, you have to come into action in, in order to receive. But you must act swiftly, okay, on Friday when you get this news. Now look, you are, somebody is already gone to quieter waters. This is that you are going to quieter waters and leaving rough waters behind, moving home, going on holiday. You have already left the rough waters. You are on the move at the weekend. Awesome. Look at the peace that's returned into the water. Wow, that's really nice. Like I said, You'll get news on Friday that will bring you back into balance and you will be in balance because this is also six. Two is balance. Awesome. Then you've got the page of stones and the page of stones is the links and the page of stones is the page of pentacles. So I think it could be something to do either with money, balancing your money, be, uh, or uh, starting to become a financial advisor, a lawyer, an advocate, anything like that, or a social worker to bring help people to bring balance back into their lives. Beautiful reading. Okay, Taurus, you might want your finances in balance, but I think you will receive news that has durability and is for long term. This could be about a relationship, and this could be um, with the page, uh, the page of stones. That could be with uh, the king uh, is Taurus. Then we've got Virgo. She's the queen. Uh, Capricorn. That could be with a Capricorn. Okay. Um. There, you've got a lot of fires, a fire in your. Pentacles and fire. You've got two swords, no, sorry, three swords. Then you've got uh, 
pentacles here, pentacles there, but you've got fire, fire, and fire again. So uh, fire and air are prominent. So it's going to be a massive week in the sense that it's action, 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 because fire is action, fire is creativity, and so is the swords, swiftness, okay? stop and think because sometimes the air signs don't stop and think like the uh, they are swift and they're swifter they they are wise um and they they take they rather go into action and some too spontaneously too quickly uh with the f um with the ones they think about it and then go into action there is a new action you've got the ace of sword uh, staves okay so there will be a new job a new house perhaps because you've got the six of swords and that means moving home and also the knight of wands so you might get this new home don't worry don't worry open your heart open your mind open your solar plex so that you can see that you can enjoy happiness so balance is really prominent here and moving on you've also got the two of pentacles here so you've got the two of swords and you've got the two of pentacles financial balance financial balance or balance between home and heart boom the heart and mind here you are you've closed it so perhaps finding your emotional balance perhaps finding your emotional balance with a Libra or a Capricorn okay my darling I hope that makes sense to you Taurus and of course you are the earth element okay so on Sunday you might feel and Saturday you might feel in your top notch you'll feel great now the card from the animal spirit or uh, spirit animal oracle you've got the groundhog well you're an earth sign so it w doesn't surprise me that you've got a groundhog time to let go of the past yes open your eyes look towards the future and to the present and not just in front of you but around you take those new steps endings lead to beginnings and death is a part of life so groundhog spirit is here to let you know that it is time to accept the natural ending of something that is no longer serving you we love to hold on to what is fa uh, familiar but the new needs space to arrive to uh, uh, so it can grow and growth can occur when the groundhog spirit appears it is a sign it is something there is a sign there is something in your present situation that you need to let go of okay so that the new can come in so that something new can be born something that will far better serve you you have sown the seeds um, Taurus and you're waiting okay so you must let go if you cut if you don't let go of the old there's no room for the new when the groundhog sees his shadow he retreats to his den so to might you yearn for a new little sorry yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new however change is coming and it is good so let go of your resistance spring brings many blessings and what must die will always be reborn in a new form that will be right for you life requires change and detachment stay far well say farewell to whatever once served you and get ready 
for something amazing to take its place. Spirit is always sending you on your something on your way. So learn, let go of the old, and you've got number 31 that becomes a four. So this will be bring in, in uh, bring stability, the balance that you need and wish. Okay, look at these two numbers. You've sown the seeds, you wanted it, otherwise you wouldn't have sown the seeds. You've uh, d nurtured it, defended it, and yourself. You're strong, you can take that leap of faith, so long you open your eyes and your solar plex and heart. Now the last card, Taurus, is surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So let go of the old, because the new is coming in, whether you like it or not. You wanted it, you've sown it, you've sown the seeds for it, and it's coming. You're going up, 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 and forward. Change. You're leaving uh, rough waters behind, rough times behind. You're ready for the new. Okay, my darling. So, you are stronger than you think. Just remember that. You're stronger than you think. You don't always have to defend yourself. Just walk away from other people's drama. Okay? And start your own new beginning. I hope you've liked this reading. Take care. Please share and like. And I'll see you in the life. And if not, in the next video.